Good morning, everyone. Dr. Victoria Skirbo here, speaking to you from the Seeds of Transformation Healing Center in Wareham, Massachusetts. Today is uh, May 4th, or May, uh, and it is a Tuesday, or May 5th and a Wednesday if you're in Australia and New Zealand, and the moon is in Aquarius for most of the day. It does eventually move out and move into Pisces at 10.09 p.m. on the east coast of the U.S., uh, so at the end of the day, we have that shift into Pisces, which is always a uh, great <laughs> for me. Uh, so today uh, we have the moon making a square to Venus. Venus is now in um, Taurus. Of course, she's uh, powerful in Taurus. Taurus is one of the signs that she rules, so she's in her dignity in Taurus. Uh, Venus in Taurus is really about... Um, Figuring out what is of value to you, what is really important, what's of worth. Um, and also, we deal with issues of self-worth uh, with Venus in Taurus. Hey, little one. <laughs> we, um, I think that might be Chitterbug. Let me see. It's either Chitterbug or is the, the one I call his girlfriend. Um, yeah, I think that's his little girlfriend. I don't even know if it's a girl, but I call it his girlfriend, Sweetie Pie. Hey, Sweetie Pie, what are you doing with all my with all my seed? Like I'm eating it, uh, lady. <laughs> anyway, um, <clears throat> well, Sweetie Pie is definitely coming into uh, an appreciation of what she loves, <laughs> and so and so don't we need to do that. Um, the, the moon in Aquarius does square that Venus. You know, Venus in Taurus is very personal, very personal sort of Venus. Um, and of course, um, Aquarius is much more a collective energy, group energy. And so there is somewhat of a challenge between what maybe your needs are and the needs of the group, as it were. Um, then later in the day, the moon makes a conjunction to Jupiter in Aquarius. And Jupiter is in the latter degrees of Aquarius, actually. It's about to uh, move into Pisces, uh, where it'll be for, um, let's see, it's May, June, about two and a half months, I think, or two months it's going to be in Pisces. Um, and we'll get a taste of that with Jupiter and Pisces. But we're still in Aquarius, and so it's actually a really good day to work in groups. It's a good day to hang out with friends or to connect with friends, um, um, to figure out what it is that we need to um, work on together to make the world a better place, as it were. All right, so that's what's going on today. Generally a nice day, really. Um, a, uh, a day that's relatively cooperative, actually, and uh, we can make the best uh, of the day by being just that cooperative, considerate, uh, concerned, uh, our brothers and sisters keeper, all of that stuff. So uh, we have a rainy day today. I think it might rain all day. I'm not sure. But there are a couple of things coming up. Of course, it's mostly just green stuff at this point. But... Um, just, you know, I know you guys like to see the progress. So this in front of me is actually a tree peony. It's a yellow one. Of course, you don't know that. Uh, <laughs> the flowers aren't out yet. But we'll keep our eyeballs peeled for that. And uh, we can see that the climbing hydrangea is coming in. Um, to the, the leaves are unfurling and we can see that um, the flowers are starting to, to, to bloom. This is the first hydrangea that blooms in my yard, and uh, it's those beautiful white flowers, and the scent is just heavenly. After it blooms, I like to just sit out here and breathe it in. It's just so lovely. This really is kind of a lovely time of year. Everything smells fresh. I wish we had, like, smell a vision That would be kind of cool, because then you could smell what I smell. Now, when I grew up in Jersey City, that might not have been the best thing. But now that I live in a country, <laughs> things smell a little different. All right, guys. Uh, have yourself a great day. Take care. Much love. And uh, I will see you again tomorrow. Namaste.